Maybe you've never considered this before, but you should actually check your drill press periodically to make sure that it's square. Now, I don't want to overcomplicate something simple because there's a relatively easy to use adjustment underneath most drill presses, but I want to explain the underlying concept behind it, and that should help you accomplish this with relative ease. A single point defines nothing, but two points define a line, and three points will define a plane. But four points, however, add a redundant point, which is why all stools with four legs rock, and stools with three legs don't rock. Now back to our drill press, we are considering this plane with respect to this line. Now consider this circular arc that I'm making right now. now. My drill press is already relatively square, which is why I can do this. But I'm fine tuning for the sake of another project that I'm working on. This is a tremel point from my beam compass, which is just a piece of sharpened rod. More on that in a bit. But with respect to the quick and dirty way to do this, we will consider our plane as this point, this point, and the point in the middle along the circular arc. We are now under considerable magnification, so I placed some objects there for scale. But the important points are this one, this one, and this one. So according to this quick test, it looks as though the right side of the table is down just a little tiny bit. We could certainly now adjust the drill press based on what we know, but we can also further reduce random error by tightening the table to the post and taking this test to the next level. As you probably already realize, this torpedo level has a greater degree of accuracy than this little spirit level, but this two-foot level has a greater degree of accuracy than this. But that's because this little level is taking an average from a very small sample, whereas relative to that, the two-foot level is taking a very wide one. So similarly, we can increase our accuracy by taking in a larger portion of this plane. This is my beam compass. I'm reasonably proud of it because it's my design, although I had a friend weld these parts for me. But what we can do is replace the pencil with another piece of rod. And we can now use this device in the drill press to extend the size of our circular arc. Surprisingly, it's showing me that I have to come up on the right side about half of a millimeter. So that gives me a clear indication about how to make the adjustment this way, left and right. But what about the front and back adjustment, the third point on our plane? Well, in order to determine that, we return to front and center after our left-right adjustment has been made. And we use the left-right adjustment as our zero setting and transfer it around and we'll find out if we have to move the, ta the table up or down. Well, that's, that wasn't too bad. That's a rather unusual view of the drill press. Luckily for me, I didn't have to make a front and back adjustment. If you did, because there's no adjustment on this deck, you would probably have to use shims, which wouldn't be too bad. 
but the left and right adjustment is very simple. You just loosen this and tighten it. It's worth noting that when I really torqued it back down, it drove it just a little tiny bit. But right now, we're within maybe two human hairs. <laughs> and that is reasonable enough for me to drill holes with. I hope you found this um, useful. See you later.